Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Just a quick disclaimer. This is an adult colouring channel and the videos on here are made for adults and not at all made for children or intended for children in any way. So today in this colouring chat we're going to be colouring Johanna Basswood's Magical Jungle. I've not coloured in this book before so I picked a picture that I wanted to do um, and we are going to do as the skull and we are going to use the Sakura jelly rolls and we're going to use the twine markers because I think we haven't used them on camera so I'm probably going to start with the skull so I'm just going to zoom in it's going to take a while to do I think um, and I'm going to use this sort of gold metallic colour for certain bits so uh, it's just knowing where to go with it that's all in here because I've not used these pens at all so I thought let's use them in this book and see what they look like yeah you can see what I'm doing which is great so I'm using the metallic gold here I intend to use a fair bit of glitter as well So hello everybody, hope you're all alright. Um, oops, I've just gone over the... Well then that's the whole point, I can go over whatever I want. I've gone over the line so I'm just going to colour that in. That's me not paying attention when I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, I hope you're alright. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, as I always say, if you have a colouring channel, just let me know. Just put I have a channel in the comments below and I will go and check it out and subscribe. So welcome to all my new ones. I hope everybody here is, is well. Welcome back to everybody who's been here before. Because, you know, I do appreciate you all. Whether you've been here before or you're new to the channel. It's nice to, to have you with me. So, what have we been up to? What have you been colouring, guys? I've been... I've finished a couple more. I'm... I did a pattern in the um, Camellia Angel Cova Sun Moon Stars or Sun and Moon Mandala book because I really like that one. I've done another one in there. I'm doing another one now. And what else have I been colouring in? Um, I've done a bit more of Kirby Rosanna's. Um, I'm sort of doing lots of bits and pieces. I'm tr I did a bit last night in my jade summer christmas book because obviously i'm trying to i was trying to do one a week for christmas in july and i haven't even finished one yet so i cannot see me getting it finished yet so i think it's going to be a while the kirby one's been is coming on very nicely but it's because it's so detailed it's like the colin thompson book i'll do it in bits when i feel like it rather than constantly just working on it so still we're halfway through the month got a bit of time left to do to finish off all my whips and possibly even start a few more Yeah. That is my plan now, is to, to start finishing off the whips, rather than starting new ones. Um, I don't really like to have too many whips going into a second month. And I do really want to get rid of the ones that are on top of the cupboard. And I did get one down to try and finish, I haven't even done a little bit on it, so... I can move that across to the next month. It wouldn't be a major issue if I did. So. So I did use the Artesas in the, the Christmas book. The sparkly ones. Because I've left my sparkle pens downstairs. And my glitter gel pens downstairs. Because I've been using them in the book downstairs. And I've got to be honest. I really, really like the yellow goldy colour sparkly one in the Artesas it's absolutely gorgeous I'm not gonna lie 
it is it's done in are nice. Now for my gather I choose to do a metallic set as well. So I might try them. I know you can get a full pack of them but I don't use the normal colours very much. It's very very rare for me to use a gel pen that's not a sparkle or a metallic. It's always glitter or metallic I use, don't really use anything else. And that's just because I like the way the glitter and metallic pens tend to colour. And I, I do, I really do, so and that's a not even sure silver, I think. So that's that little bit of gold. Let's get a nice green. And we'll do the leaves. Up here. Are they leaves or are they petals, do you think? They look like leaves to me, so I'm going to do them as glittery leaves. If there's many gaps in the gold, I will go back over it when I can. It's just very hard to see in this daylight lamp because I'm not really close enough to it to see. Look how beautiful that green is. That is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm still working at my normal day job and I've been down to my mum's today which is actually now yesterday because I'm filming this on Thursday night and you're seeing this on Friday. I have to think what day it is then. Um, Thursday I went down to my mum's and we played with Jennifer because Jennifer loves her granddad so much. She has a right laugh with him and they like absolutely adore each other. Sorry if you're seeing the top of my head. Because this light is so bright. <laughs> Unless I move it, I can't really see where the caps are in the, the, the uh, thing, so. I like that green. I think I'll do all this bit green as well. So, I don't know how long this picture is going to take, but it'll take as long as it takes. I've never used gel pens in one of these Johanna Basswood books, apart from the Christmas one. And I've sort of used their man stickles. So. It's quite interesting to see. It looks quite nice, actually. Sniffly I am today, a bit of a sniffle. So Jennifer was funny down at Grandad's because I took down a bubble gun. So it's like a gun that blows bubbles basically and my dad's very good at making the bubbles really big and she was like, <gasps> she got really excited every time he blew a big one and started squealing which is not brilliant because my mum doesn't like screech, high pitched screeching and she can be quite high pitched. Yeah, sometimes I can see where the gaps are but I can't see it properly so I'm going to have to probably go back over it once I've finished filming just to check because it's very difficult because I've got a daylight lamp where it's all very glittery and shiny. It just looks like there's glitter where there's actually gaps. 
and I can see the same in the gold. Now I've moved my, I've changed my angle, I can see slightly better. But I'm not going to go back all over that now because um, otherwise I'd be here all day, wouldn't I? Hoping to go out on the weekend again up to Roth, but to walk around the park rather than the lake. I love the lake, but it'd be nice to walk around the gardens. For Jen to have a run if she can. Now, next week they're supposed to be opening up the play parks again, which would be great if they do, because Caffili is quite slow at opening everything up. I can do my post after I finish work and take Jennifer in the park. I don't go down with her, the park being closed. Because she's too young to understand why she can't go in it. She doesn't, she doesn't understand. She's so young. You know, she's only two and a half, love her. So she's not, she doesn't understand what social distancing is and all that stuff, so. Really, it's about making it safe for her yeah, yeah, I can see a few gaps, especially in the gold. Not so much in the green, because I have gone back over some of the green. So, But what I'll do is where I have to, I will go back over it afterwards. But I wanted to make this little video for you. Because I enjoy having a chat with you of an evening. So at the moment in the UK... It's depending on where you are, depends on whether or not you have to wear a face mask because we have the devolved government. So that just means that certain things are the responsibility of certain countries. So for instance, public health is devolved. So that means that Scotland and Wales are in charge of their own health policies. It's why in Wales we get free prescriptions. Which is good for someone like me, I've got asthma, I have something like um, one, two, three, four, I have five different prescriptions so I'd have to buy a yearly certificate, you can get them and they cost so, so much and then you don't pay again. Um, but you need the money to do it because you need to pay for it in one go. And prescriptions are over eight pounds, which is not a lot when I think of how much you guys in the States have to pay for your medications. Ours is really cheap, but it obviously adds up. So um, because public health is devolved, that means things like prescription costs are devolved and anything to do with them, um, what's going on the policies, it, that's decided by the Welsh, Scottish or Irish governments. So with regards to face masks in Scotland, it is already mandatory to be wearing face masks um, in shops, restaurants, etc. Um, on public transport. In Wales, it's mandatory on public transport, but not in shops. And in England, it's mandatory on public transport and from, I think, the 24th or something, it'll be mandatory on uh, in shops as well. However, Mark Drayford, who is the head of the Welsh Government, has said he's not going to make it mandatory in Wales at this time because the R rating is so low. So that's fine. At the moment we don't have to wear one. Some people do uh, and my dad does when he goes into the shops. He's got a mask, he's got some disposables and washable ones and he wears a mask. I've only been out twice to the shops 
um, to the supermarket and that was to Lidl's and I've got to be honest I've only seen one well two people a couple wearing masks in there so whether or not he'll make it mandatory I don't know now I'm asthmatic but I reckon I'd probably be okay if we had to wear one I got I, I think I'd be all right do you know I don't think I'd have much of a problem at least I hope I wouldn't um my biggest worry is that it'll freak Jennifer out and she'll start screaming if she sees me or Paul in a face mask so I'm gonna have to start wearing one around the house for her to get used to seeing us in them in case they do make it mandatory and they probably will at some point they you know yeah I'm pretty sure they probably will at some point so it's just a matter of when um Drakeford decides to join uh, us up with the rest of the country now Boris Johnson is also saying in in England he wants people to go back to their offices whereas before his the mandate has been work from home if you can he now wants people to start going back to their office now our company have said that regardless of where we are now in Wales is, is obviously it's devolved anyway and Drakeford could say no don't do that stay at home if you can they're saying nobody has to return to the office until October um, the problem is that you cannot social distance in, in the offices. It's impossible. They're saying that you don't have to wear masks in offices. But social distancing, I just don't know how they'd work it. And, you know, what they're going to do, have somebody sitting, standing outside the toilet, so every time somebody goes to the toilet, it's deep clean before the next person goes in. You know, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. I'm quite happy working from home. I've got a feeling that our company will say, if you want to carry on working from home, you can. But if you, alternatively, if you want to go in, you can let us know what you prefer. There's a lot of people who'd rather work from home. I'm one of them. It just makes life easier. It's so hard to see where the gaps are when you're doing it like this. Because normally if it was I was doing the glitter, I'd be right up close to it. As you can see when I go back over it when I spot bit, I mean I can still see more gold now. And I've gone over some of that. There we go. I mean it's taken me nearly 20 minutes just to do this one bit. This is going to take us several um, videos if you want me to do the whole thing. Just let me know. Um, I don't mind doing the whole thing. I'm quite happy to do the whole thing. But uh, you just let me know if you want the whole thing done or do you just want a little bit of it done. It's entirely up to you. I mean, obviously, there's a lot going on on this picture. I think it's just because I started with a fiddly bit. I think once we get onto the this bit it, it won't take as long then it's just at the moment because we're doing this bit it's going to take a, a little while I think and I'm one of those people I don't like keeping things going for too long because I think it, it must be boring for you guys if I'm colouring the same picture constantly but then I don't know. You might enjoy the same picture constantly. I, you know, I have to see. There we go. Wow. Um, I like the way that the gel looks on here. I do. I think it's really nice. I do like these Sakura Jelly Rolls. They are really great pens. They really are good. Now I know I've got to go back over some of this gold. If I can get into it and see it. I've got some in pink I can see I've got to do. There's some gold in there. 
around here. I'm just trying to touch it up a little bit. There we go. I'm sorry if my head was in the way then. It's very difficult being left handed not to put your hand in it. But uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> So you might have noticed I've been posting videos pretty much every day, apart from, I think it was Sunday, I ran out of steam on Sunday. Um, but I got plenty of colour um, flip, flip throughs. So I'll probably have two days of flip throughs, which will be Sundays and Thursdays, although it might be random from time to time. I'm going to try and keep the colour in chats as Wednesdays and Fridays. Weekly vlog is on Monday. Let's start from the beginning. Monday is a weekly vlog. Tuesday is normally first impressions, although it might be something else, because I'm obviously I'm not going to be buying lots of supplies all the time. I can't afford it. It's just I've happened to have a few good sets of supplies come in. Um, but for, for instance, I've got the Crayola video to put up. That'll be up soon, hopefully. So that'll go up on Tuesday. So it's not going to be the review day. Wednesday's colour and chat, Thursday's a flip through, Friday's a colour and chat, and then Saturday and Sunday is going to depend. Um, I'm going to have a weekly wrap up of books, videos and music that I've listened to, like I did last week, but it might depend on, the day might change, so it might be Saturday one week and it might be Friday another week, or Sunday another week rather. Yeah, so it might be Saturday one week and Sunday the next. And that's just because of, um, if I haven't finished a, a book and I'm close to finishing a book, I might put it off till Sunday just so that uh, I've got an extra day. So what colour do I wish to have now? Hmm. There isn't black there. Is there one in the Artesis? Sometimes you get black in, so yes you do. I'm going to use the Arteza black on this because I wanted a bit black as well. So I'm just going to jump a ship for a minute and I'm going to do every other of these little dots. Black. These little beads. So I said, I very rarely plan what I'm doing. I just literally get in and colour. Because that's how I enjoy it. If I was to plan everything out to the last... colour and all that stuff, I would not enjoy what I'm doing. Um, I really just like to see where it takes me. There we go, that's that, that, that. And so far, yeah, it's quite uh, colourful. It's very sparkly, very nice and sparkly. And yeah, these Arteza ones are really nice as well. So, there's a nice black in there. Oh, I got a stretch, and I think we'll go back to that nice light blue. the next one, it's letting it dry a minute while I uh, get the pen out. Yeah, I really like these uh, jelly rolls. I can see why um, the people in the colouring community have gone bonkers for them. I, I do, I, I get it. I totally get it. They are such quality pens. Of course, you pay for what you get for, so they are a little bit more expensive, but I, I don't mind that. Like I said, I quite happy with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. But uh, like I said, I'll only be using them 
sparingly. This is the main picture I'm doing. Like I said, I'm just doing the skull. The rest of the background will be done with the the twine markers. There's plenty of greens in the twine markers and there's a there's a spider there we can do with that with the in red and black and all sorts. So yeah. This is uh I wanna say fun. <laughs> It is fun. Colouring is, it should be fun. If you're not enjoying yourself when you're colouring, you're doing something wrong and you need to, to take stock. Even making the videos, it's hard work, but it is fun. It's, they, they, the videos are enjoyable to make. If they weren't, I wouldn't do them. Because a lot of work goes into them. It does. So I'll be back in a second. There we go. I've just had to move slightly because I was getting uncomfortable, so that means I have to move the camera. So again if I miss bits and you can see it don't shout at the screen I'm going to go back over it when I get chance before we do the, uh, the next one so yeah it is very difficult to do oh I need to find a better filming location or a better way of doing it downstairs was better but the the light wasn't the best but I'll figure it out <laughs> at some point I will figure it out I'm, I want to get a um, tripod and try it on the phone because that might work better I don't know I've never done that so you know, I'll get one of those ones that hangs over and maybe try it like that with the, the camera. I've got plenty of cameras that I can use for it. It's not a problem there. It's... Uh, it's just getting the camera angle right. That can be quite difficult sometimes as uh, all colourists and people who do diamond painting and crafting videos knows because what the best position for you guys might not be the best position for me and I'm constantly checking to make sure that it's in frame it is at the moment so that's good I do like this I mean I don't know you can see how glittery it is it, it's it's really nice it looks a bit I don't know how to explain it on camera but uh, it does look very nice in person like I said I've not coloured in this book I love Johanna Basford's work but it's so detailed this is the only book of hers I've got that I haven't coloured in. The only one I haven't got is How to Draw an Inky Wonderland, just because I'm not really into the drawing part. I have heard there's some good colouring pages in there, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on something I'm not going to get a lot of use out of. I'd rather buy a, a Hannah Carls and a Clara Markova or something like that. And... Uh, See how that goes. So the plan is to do most of the face in gold if I can. And I and now I've changed spaces, I can see that there's a bit of gold missing from up there, look. And just there and there. And that's a good reason to change the way you're sitting sometimes. You'll spot bits you've missed. Okay. So I'm just putting them back in in the same order that they come out in so I can actually, you know, Check them right, but yeah. I'm not going to worry about the little thing there because I'm just going to, it's all sparkly anyway. I do like these pens. Mm. 
No. And now my battery's dead. I'll be back in a minute with another battery. Okay, I've changed the battery and now we'll have a look at what we can do next. Yeah, so we're going to carry on uh, doing a bit more of the skull. I've gone over a bit of it, but I can still see where it needs more. I need to get up really close to it. So I'll probably do that tomorrow night. Yeah, I like these uh, jelly rolls. Mind you, the Artesas are good as well, so. I don't know how much more I'm going to do this. I've done about 30 minutes, I would say. Possibly. So I've just picked the fiddliest bit to do. So, which is just typical of me, really, to pick the fiddly bit. Um, but, you know, next time we'll probably do a bit of the uh, background with the different colours. just watching or I have been watching some YouTube videos so I do like watching YouTube as you know I watch a lot of channels and uh, yeah sometimes I need to uh, catch up on certain things because I'm watching a lot at the moment of different stuff I watch documentaries on YouTube oops I watch colouring videos, I watch booktube videos, I watch record videos, <laughs> I watch reselling videos, I watch spooky stuff, I watch documentaries about Titanic, Jack the Ripper and various movie stars because that's my big thing but I don't always watch everything in the right you know so I might watch your videos but it might not be when you put them up it might be a couple of weeks later I've put my red down and I don't know where I've put my red now. I didn't put it back in here. I've got orange and I've got pinks. Hmm. Okay. It will turn up. It is here somewhere, I'm sure. I just, I don't know where it's come. I won't be doing that bit then. Oh, well. Oh, I put it in the wrong section. That's how I've got it now. Doi. Dear me. me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, I don't know, I'm going to do yeah, a bit more in this area at the top, I hope you can see okay. Yeah you can, yeah you can, you can still see bits where I've missed bits, there's a bit missing there. And you'll see more that I've missed than I will, but like I said I will go uh, back over it when I get chance so before we do the next colour and chat um, I'll, I'll get the book out and then I'll get the pens out and I'll just go over it all bits at a time I'll do all the gold bits and I'll do all the red bits and I'll do all the green bits and all the blue bits and so on until it looks brilliant um, so that next time you see it all those gaps will hopefully be filled in I 
and we can uh, move on. But uh, like I said, next time I'll probably do a bit of the background. Just to give us a bit of a break from the skull and the glitter. I do love this though. I like this picture. It's very warm in here tonight and I've got a window open. I might have to get the fan out to cool me off after I've... Uh... It's been quite hot today here. When I finish doing this, I'll put the fan on. Um, yeah, it has been quite hot. Not hot, hot, but hotter than it has been lately. And again, tomorrow the temperature's dropping. It's about 24 today. It's going to drop to 21 or less. So, I really have no idea how long this video is already, but I know I did 20 the first video. So, i do a bit more. I think I'm going to do the eyes black, the eye socket and the nose socket black. Um, I think. Chin will be gold. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. You can see, this is all, yeah, I think black and then around it will be gold. As I said, I'll go back over all this when uh, I can, it's all dry, I'll be able to see all the gaps properly. I'll put it up closer to my face. So I've caught the sun again. It's how hot it was today. It's itching. I don't have to look at the sun when I burn. It's ridiculous. It really is. Yeah, it looks nice. I can see there's a few bits where I've missed bits, whether it's gold or whether it's red. It just depends what angle I'm at. But I'll, like I said, I will pull it up close to my face and have a good go at it. But I think I'm going to do the eye holes now so that they're done. That red goes down here after the orange. So I'm going to get my black out of my teasers because there's no black in my Sakura set. Is that a black one? Yes, I believe it is. Yeah. I'm just going to do the eyes and nose holes. I don't know about the teeth yet. They might be gold. I just, we'll just do the eyes and the nose and that'll probably be it for today. I like this to be about 40 minutes long, no longer. I don't want it to be overwhelming. And this has taken a long time just to do this little tiny bit that we've done, which is why I said I'll probably do in the next video as much of the, um, some of the leaves and the spider and some of the background with the twi markers because we haven't used them yet. How's that looking? That looks all right, I don't know. Yeah, there's a few bits of gaps up here. Like I said, with the gaps, I'll go back over them. But, uh, yeah. I think I want to read a bit tonight before I go to bed. But I also want to colour a little bit more of my Christmas picture. because um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I want to get it finished because then that's one of my whips done. I hate having, I hate, hate having too many whips on the go. I just can't cope with it. It really gets on my nerves if I've got a ton of whips. I'm not one of these people who could have like 10, 15, 20, 30 whips. I know some people got like about 100 whips and I'd find that overwhelming. I, I, I've got a few and that's fine. I've started this month and I've got one left over from the end of last month and one of my really long-standing ones that I want to finish. 
I want to finish my Crayola video, but I just got to finish the picture now so I can just film the final bit to get that up. I really want to get that up soon. So, oh, it looks quite horrifying actually now I've given it black eye holes. <laughs> It does look quite scary, but that's okay. It's not meant to be uh, pretty. It's a skull. It's just a jeweled skull. And I might do in between the teeth black as well while we're here. Because that's how I roll. Oh, it's hard work doing this, isn't it? I love colouring with gel pens though, especially, I, I love colouring with the glitters. I'm quite a glittery person, I love the glitters. I'm just going to put a little bit in between his teeth. There we go. I'm actually going to call that a day because it's definitely around 40 minutes even though um, it doesn't look like we've done much and I'll show you <laughs> that all we've done is that part of the skull and it's taken us, you know, I turned it off at around 25 minutes I think to um, get the change the battery or something, I, I stopped it for a reason or to move and I've done another thing, so it's definitely 40 minutes and I think that's long enough. So that's where it is at the moment, when we come back um, it should be sometime next week, unless I decide to do an extra one to get cracking with it. We'll do some of the background using the, the toy markers. So, so far, I hope you're enjoying this video. I hope you like my skull so far. If you have enjoyed this video, do please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Um, you know, let me know. Do you want me to continue with a skull in the next one or should I do a bit of the background or should I just do what I feel like? Um... Just let me know what you want to see in the next episode and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.